To create our first Pixie.js application, we need to follow a few steps. First, we'll import the application class, create an instance of it, and initialize it. I'll explain this method in more detail shortly. Next, we'll inject the canvas element generated by the application into the body of the page. And there you go, this black rectangle is where you can draw every piece of art you can imagine using JavaScript code. Back to the init method, it is here where we specify the initial configuration of the app. For example, we can set the width and height of the canvas. To make the application occupy the full space of the document, we can explicitly set the width and height properties to match the dimensions of the window. Alternatively, we can use the resize to. This property accepts a node and adjusts the canvas to fit within that node. In this case, I want the application to take up the full window, so I'll pass the window object as the value. As you may have noticed, both methods result in an additional scrolling space. To fix this, we need to set the canvas position to absolute and remove any default margin added to the body. Continuing with the configuration properties, we have the background alpha which sets the opacity of the canvas. One thing to keep in mind is that if you update the background alpha without initializing it with a value less than 1, the transparency won't change. We can of course change the background color. We also have the anti-alias property which removes pixelated edges from objects. However, for performance reasons, avoid using this feature unless absolutely necessary. And with this, we come to the end of this lesson. So make sure to like, share and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.